But they need to deal with another platforming segment, which, trust me, if you fall down below, you better be quick or else you will drown in... Well, no one likes drowning in a Sonic game. Don't want to get the fur wet, so... Huzzah! Platforms! And now we can speed through the rest of the stage, but oh, whoa, 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 oh, no! <sighs> you go too fast, and that happens. And I can't believe I died already. Anyway, time to fight Robotnik, and it's his chemical dumper, and yes, we basically have to fight him, as he basically is about to dump chemicals on us, and we can't fall in the water or else it's an instant death. As long as you stay in the middle and make sure you don't really go, like, stay, stay in the area where he is, then you'll do just fine. And chemical zone is, chemical plant zone is done. With an embarrassing death, I don't know what to say. I guess I'll never be able to do that Sonic 2 no death run. Because of stupid shit like that! Ah, Aquatic Ruin. And yes, this is the predominant water level in Sonic 2. And it happens to be my favorite water. It actually has to be like one of uh, my second favorite stage in this game. But why? It's a water level. Why do you like this level so much? I hear some of you asking. Well, I like the music, I like the enemies. And it's not that bad of a water level, it's actually a really pretty water level. One that's actually nice to look at. And of course the boss is easy as all hell if you know the right trick. Now it does have its moments where grounders will basically... Oh, screw it. Will basically pop out of walls if you're not careful. Hooray! But that's the only real uh, danger here. And finish under a minute, that's nice. Not my best, though, but that will do. Yay! Alright, Aquatic Ruin Zone 2. Alright. Act 2 uh, has basically two paths. We can either do the All Underwater path, or we can be smart and take the Above path. Doesn't really matter. The water, the water path is dang it is a bit dangerous, but it's not as bad as uh, ugh, Labyrinth Zone. Ah, you bastard! Labyrinth Zone, in my opinion, is definitely is the worst uh, water zone in a Sonic game. Period. It's not fun. It's dangerous as all hell. You get no breaks. And sometimes the bubbles don't respond in Labyrinth Zone, but the bubbles are very, very friendly in Aquatic Ruin Zone. And bounce up one more time, and we're done with the and we're done with the stage basically. What we do now is just basically roll our way down to the boss, and it's boss time. This boss is very, very easy. All you do is stand top of the totem poles, and just jump back and forth. And we're done! <laughs> now, wasn't that hard? I know it was. So let's move on! Yep. Alright, now that we're done with... Aquatic Ruin Zone, we're going to, we're now going to uh, Casino Night Zone. Famous for its slot machines and getting people addicted to them because, well, they want to get a lot of rings. As well as introducing kids to the wonders of gambling. Now this stage is very, very slow, especially if you're the type who wants to go around trying to get as many rings and points as you can. There are there are not that many speed sections, and there's a lot of block traps in this zone. It's a fun stage, I'll give it that. But if I want, but if I if I want a fun uh, casino-ish stage, then I will go to Carnival Night Zone from Sonic 3. 
And yes, I actually love the dreaded Barrel of Doom now that I know how to beat it. The, the one puzzle that will basically make you feel stupid for the longest time until you realize what you need to do, but still. Ugh. There we go. Nope. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. That's a pretty, actually pretty cool city. But, you know, I've always wondered, you know, if South... Uh, I'm sorry, not South Island. East Island. You know, if it's supposed to be, like, a secluded island and whatnot... Well, I... I no, I'll take it back. That's an argument for Angel Island. But, I mean, you know, you think some areas of South Island would be secluded, and then you have places like this that just don't make any sense. Then again... Ah, screw it. It doesn't really matter. Because the other night zone kicks ass! That's all that... That's all I'm trying to say. I'm probably not going to get in our chaos or whatever, am I? And there's the slot machines. Ah, we're not going to play. I just want to beat the stage and go on. Oh, hello. Invincibility! It's awesome. Plus, we get to hear the amazing Sonic catch, uh, Sonic theme song. Alright, we'll play one round. Alright, three rings. It's impossible to get a jackpot. I mean, unless you, like, really hammer on this game night and daily until you get a jackpot. Don't expect to hit one. Really? 98 rings? 98 rings. Ugh. Well, at least I got an extra continue. Alright, Casino Night Zone 2. This will basically introduce, introduce us to the boss of the zone, which is not my favorite boss in this game, period. Then again, my least favorite boss in this game would have to um, be the boss of Metropolis Zone. Alright. We could play pinball... Uh, we could play slots, but... We're gonna move on. I've demonstrated it. That's all that matters. Hmm, nine rings short. So we're gonna try to work our way down, down. And spring launch. And again. Work our way down. Ah, in this section. This section is not fun, because if you hit the bumpers just right like that, then you'll basically get back into this quarter pipe. And being stuck in that quarter pipe is not fun, especially if you're playing uh, versus mode. As you can tell from an experienced Sonic 2 player from an inexperienced Sonic 2 player, um, if they get caught in that area and they can't escape. Giving you an easy, easy victory. Oh, let's go for special let's go for a third Chaos Emerald. And that's either orange or putrid brown. Collect 50 rings! Is this the one with the uh rings. I meant the, yeah, the mine rings. No, I shouldn't try stunts, because stunts will kill you. Oh, tried to get me there, game, didn't ya? But you failed. Good! That's why I hate those downward inclines, because you can't see what's coming towards you. 110 rings. We're nowhere close. Oh, so it's like a jump rope. Oh, damn. I thought I jumped. Oh, I hate not being able to see. I hate not being able to see. Oh, I didn't make it, did I? No. Ah, uh, and now the chaos influence pop up. 
That's weird. <laughs>